Madam Glam has some new 3D embossing gel and I am here to show you some of what you can do with it. So today we're going to be playing with the white, the black, and then separately we have a rose gold gel paint and I think you guys are going to go absolutely bananas for it. I know I did when I opened it up. At first I had thought that I just got another rose gold chrome, which I absolutely love. So I was excited for that. But then when I opened it and it was a brand new rose gold gel paint, I was so, so excited. So to start us off, I'm going to lay down a beautiful base coat of this real washy purple color that came in the Easter egg basket that they just recently released. I've already fallen in love with the gel polishes from that collection. They remind me of watercolors, very dreamy, girly, femme. What I have in mind will work perfect with kind of an off-white base or maybe even a nude base. And I'll just speed this part up a little bit so we can get on with the nail art. I cannot wait to get into this nail art because I love embossing gels, um, gels that you can make like 3D, 4D, 5D. I love dimension. I like the way it, oh, it adds such a feeling to any form of art. It adds texture and depth. It's almost like you, you want to reach out and feel it. Now we're gonna go ahead and put a matte top coat on top of this, that way we protect this color while we do our work. Not only am I, am I inspired by the colors that we're gonna be using today and the fact that we're using some 3D gel, but I'm also inspired by, I, I got online and looked up a lot of black and white nail art and um, I was also f really feeling the Valentine's theme still. So I decided, I kind of came up with my own idea for this nail art and we're gonna see how it comes out. So I am probably least a perfectionist. So I feel like anybody can do this nail art. A beginner is perfectly fine. They should be able to come in here and, and do exactly what I can do, if not way better. Okay, so I'm going to dip into my rose gold and I want to kind of add a cigar band type around each nail, probably right about where um, the free edge starts coming away from the nail. And um, yeah, so pretty easy. I'm, I don't want it to be a perfect cigar band, kind of more of a messy torn cigar band. And I'll kind of figure out how thick I want it or the width of it as I go along here. The camera got a little fuzzy on me here on this pinky, but it will straighten out fairly quickly. And on each finger, I'm just gonna make it a little different. If you're interested in getting any of these gels, just head on over to madamglam.com. If they're not already running a big sale, put in the code T-O-S-H-A, all capital letters, 40, that'll get you 40% off your order. And don't you love the color of this rose gold? So pretty. I keep wanting to make it like a lot thicker just so I can use more of this color. A few more nails to go and I think what I'll do is just speed it up a little so we can get on to the next part. And next we're gonna get into our black. Now what I wanna do is create a teeny tiny heart 
right in the center of this rose gold. Just working on getting the shape just right. And I'm gonna go ahead, put a shiny top coat on just to protect that while we move on to more nail art. Now we're gonna dip into our white embossing gel. And what I wanna do is just kind of create some swirly flowers. And I'm really looking for this to be real kind simple. of messy, undone, um, not perfect, okay? Now, before I nuke this and put a top coat on it to move on to the next finger, I wanna make this gold, just this rose gold, just a little bit thicker here. And while I've got my rose gold out, I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit more width on some of the other fingers as well. Okay, that seems a little better, so let me go ahead and put a shiny top coat on top of our pinky, and then we'll nuke this and move on to our ring finger. Next, we're gonna dip back into our black 3D embossing gel, and we're gonna do kind of something similar. We're just gonna do like some, again, some messy little roses, and I think I'll just put one rose down here at the bottom, and then maybe like a little leaf effect um, in the upper part. This next part is gonna seem a little strange, but just trust the process. So after I finish with this black embossing gel, what we're gonna do is get our shiny top coat and we're gonna apply the shiny top coat, but I'm not curing the black gel. So it's gonna smudge the product and it's gonna look like everything we just did is a complete mess, but just have faith.
Personally, I think that design image looks really cool, even like this, but no, we're not done. We're gonna get into our white 3D embossing gel next. Now, I just finished nuking that design, and now I'm gonna get into our white 3D embossing gel. And we are just gonna pretend like we are gonna go in here and try to kind of clean up the mess that was made. Um, and it doesn't have to be perfect either. It's still gonna be gorgeous when we finish. Because more than likely, you're gonna be able to see where your design was and where it ran. So you're just gonna go in where it was white before and add that white back. And you want it to kind of stand up and have some dimension to that color. And again, I am just kind of really feeling the, um, goodness, the messiness of it all, let's say. <laughs> and I kind of like the more textural it is and messy it is and, and um, how you can kind of see that we tried to repair the art piece <laughs> um, that it once was. I am gonna take my flat brush here in a second, my flat gel brush and just kind of smooth out that top part because although I want it to be messy, I don't want it to be too, too messy. Not that it wouldn't be very cool looking and and I wouldn't love it equally. It's just in this moment, I'm gonna prefer to just kind of clean that up just a little bit. Let me show you a nice close-up of what this looks like right now. And because I want to add just a little bit more black in here, I dipped back into the black after curing this, and I'm just going to add one more layer of some of the black 3D dimensional gel here. And really, you could just kind of keep playing around with this if you wanted. If you wanted it to be more dimensional, you could certainly either add layers or just go with a thicker application to your gel. I want to keep mine more just 3D and kind of low key. So I, I do want you to be able to see the texture in it, but I don't want to, um, you know, I don't want to over overdo it on this particular set. And let's go ahead and freeze this nail in place and we'll move on to the next one. And I do want to add at least two top coats, so I'm going to go ahead and redo my pinky again for the second time, and then we'll put her under the nuker, and then we'll come back and move on. And on this finger, I want to do a very similar design. We're just going to kind of mix up where the placement is on the nail. And since you've already watched me do this once, I'll go ahead and just kind of speed this up just a little bit for us.
Again, you're not going to cure this step, so that way you want your black to smudge whenever you wipe your top coat over it. And do remember, after you do the top coat on this nail, wipe that brush off before you stick it back into your polish. I just want to smooth this part out down here just a little bit more down by the leaf. And I want to add the slightest bit more rose gold to our band here. And I'll give you a close up of what these nails look like so far. And then we'll top coat this one and go back to our last one, do another top coat on that one, and then we will move on to our last finger. Now, I want this finger to be very similar to our pinky. However, it's gonna need to be a little bit more dramatic because it's a bigger finger. And I think, I just think that it will look best that way. So one thing that's gonna help with this is I'm gonna go in with my little detailer brush instead of using the little dotting tool because this is going to allow me to get a thicker amount of product on my brush. And down here, I'm just gonna kind of do a couple of different partial flowers, like where they're kind of half on the nail and half off. And I think in the center of our band, I'm just gonna add an initial, and I'm gonna add the initial N. Now, I am not a great tiny drawer yet, so, so just bear with me. It's, it's as close to a fancy looking in as I can get. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up, get our top coat on all the nails, two top coats. Um, on each nail and we're going to nuke everything and come back and take a close look. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you love these nails as much as I do. I think they came out absolutely beautiful. Please remember to follow me on YouTube and I will catch you very soon.